Hello everyone. So recently I have been having an issue with the tubular quad, specifically an electrical issue. So I thought it would be interesting in this video to uh, talk to you guys and tell you what has been going on, what I've done so far to troubleshoot this quad, what I think the problem is, and then hopefully we will fix this by the end of the video. And maybe this will be helpful to you just by seeing kind of my thought process as I troubleshoot something or maybe you are even having the exact same problem. So let's talk about what the problem is. So a few months ago, I broke my ESC and I ended up swapping to an older ESC that I had and that flew fine for a while, but then all of a sudden the quad started to fall out of the air. So what I did is I looked at the GoPro footage to see exactly what happened and basically the back left corner of the quad just stopped making power. So the quad would just dip the back left corner and it would tumble and just fall out of the air. So obviously some kind of problem with the back left corner. So I had some other issues with my setup while running that old ESC. So I figured it was probably just a problem with the ESC. So I got a brand new ESC, put that in and the problem was solved. So I thought that was it. Um, but the problem came back after however many flights and once again the back left corner of the quad just kind of desynced or whatever the motor just stopped spinning and the quad just tumbled so something that i noticed was that the back left motor was actually getting warmer than all the other motors and something else that had recently happened was that the top plate had actually worn through the battery lead because the battery lead was too short and another thing that can happen with the tubular quad with the wires running through the arms is that if you're not careful while assembling it or if you just go through a ton of crashes then the insulation on the motor wires can slowly get worn through. So I pulled apart the entire quad, I checked all the motor wires, I put heat shrink on any of them that looked suspicious and I replaced the battery lead and made it slightly longer so that the top plate would no longer rub through the insulation on that. So basically trying to eliminate any possible source of the short. And I thought at this point that the problem would be solved, but of course when I went out real quick to test it, as soon as I gave it more than maybe half throttle or so, same exact problem. So at this point, I don't think it's the ESC because I'm having the same exact problem on two separate ESCs. And I don't think it is some kind of shorting issue through the frame itself because I think I have eliminated all of those potential sources of shorting. So at this point, I think it has to be the motor is bad in some way. So what I think is going on is there is some kind of short within the windings of the motor itself. And I don't think it's that severe because obviously the motor can still operate, um, but it does get hot. So that indicates some kind of short going on. So something I could have done to verify this is actually swap two motors. And then the problem should move to whichever corner I move that motor to. So that's something you can try if you're unsure of what the problem is. However, I am pretty confident that the problem is the motor itself. So I ordered a couple spare motors along with some other things. And I might as well show you guys what other things I ordered. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. All right, so first up I got 10 sets of my favorite six inch props. These are the Ethics K2s. These actually aren't for me though. Okay, so I got three sets of bearings. I think I'm gonna do a bearing change on my motors at some point because some of the motors are getting pretty vibration-y, so. I have those to do at some point. I got some standoffs, so you can guess what those are for. I got a 20 by 20 stack. This thing is tiny, so I've never run anything 20 by 20 before, but we're gonna try this out, but not on the current quad, so you can guess what this is going on. And then lastly, we have two motors. I like to run the Hyperlite 2206.5 1922 KV motors. They're really light and they have enough power and response for what I like. 
Look at that, nice and shiny. All right, so I'm gonna replace the back left motor with one of these brand new motors, and then hopefully that fixes the problem. All right, so the shiny new motor is in. I tested the motors with the props off and everything works, but the true test will be if this thing still has this weird desyncing issue when I actually fly it. So let's actually go fly it and see if the problem is solved. All right, so after that test flight, I can confidently say that the problem has been resolved. So there definitely was something going on with that back left motor. I do think it was a short in the windings because the motor was getting hot. So in that test flight, I used a lot of high throttle, a lot of fast throttle changes to really make sure that back left corner is rock solid now, which it appears to be. So I'm confident that the problem is fixed. So there are a couple important takeaways from this video. First of all, if you're having some kind of problem, use whatever data acquisition tools are at your disposal. For example, if you're having a tuning issue, uh, black box can be a huge help. In my case, all I had to use was the GoPro footage to actually figure out what corner was being problematic. And the other takeaway is to use process of elimination to really pinpoint where the problem is coming from. So I think in my case, it would have been a lot smarter for me to just swap two motors and see if the problem moved to a different corner, which it should have because the motor was the problem. And that would have prevented me from having to get an extra ESC because I immediately assumed that the ESC was the problem. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this style of video. Please like this video if you liked it and make sure to get subscribed if you are not already. It helps me out a lot. And if you really want to go the extra mile, consider throwing me a couple bucks on Patreon, which will also get you access to the exclusive Discord server. And lastly, if you can't get enough of me here on YouTube, consider following me on Instagram at timmy.r.c. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.